Hi folks, Dwayne here, the Curious Sage, bringing you the transformative power of human connection. The reflection I want to focus on today is solitude. Now solitude is oftentimes misunderstood, and it's an important part of our own spiritual journeys. Solitude enables us to have the quiet time to really reflect deeply on what's important in our life. Making time for solitude is not a selfish act. It is, in fact, a life-giving one. And in fact, without solitude in our lives, we fail to take the opportunity to truly reflect upon what's important, what areas of our life we need to focus on, and to quiet the chatter of the mind long enough to let spirit work through our hearts. You know, for me, solitude's always been an important part of my life. And at times, I personally have misunderstood solitude. It's oftentimes been viewed as something that might be more selfish in the sense of, I just need time for me. I need my time. But yet, what I have found is that my time is recharge time and it enables me to come back even stronger and with even greater clarity for the things that I need to be focused on in my life. So whether that solitude is spent in meditation or like here, it's just simply spent sitting quietly by the beach watching the whales, people in their boats. It's a time to reground, it's a time to recharge, and quite frankly, it's a time to make sure that you're still connected to the right source. And so, as you think about the role and importance of solitude in your own life, don't ever look at it as something that is just pushing people away or in some ways maybe being selfish with your own time. But instead, think about it in terms of what value it does uh, in bringing forth greater energy, greater connection, and greater clarity in your own life. That's all I have for today. Check me out on my website, and I look forward to hearing more from you.